What's up fam, this your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you niggas today. Chicago rapper FBG Cash was shot and killed after being followed home from the studio and many people began speculating about who did the hit. Some people say he was set up by his own crew, other people say he was set up by a female, and then you have a small percentage of people saying he was set up by the audio engineer. So while we was online speculating, while we was online talking about who did it, his family was preparing for a funeral and it was a secret funeral at that. They didn't give details to the public. They didn't give the location out due to safety concerns. And it dawned on me. You FBG Cash, blown up as a rapper. Everybody knows you. And you can't even have a public funeral. You put on for this gang. You dissing the dead ops. But when it's time to celebrate your life, they had to do it in secrecy. So I'm looking at all you gang members. Why the hell would you want to live that lifestyle? You get notoriety when you're living. But when you die... Everybody got to celebrate your life in secrecy. Can't nobody post a funeral. Fans can't come pay their condolences out. And I just think that's sad. Because you know how we do at funerals. In the black community, a funeral is also a family reunion. You ain't seen your uncle in two years. You ain't seen your granny in seven months. You ain't seen your auntie in two months. So at the funeral, you're making up for lost time as well. You might want to stand in that parking lot and exchange numbers with your family. You might want to stand in that parking lot and take pictures with your long lost family members. You might want to stand in that parking lot and reminisce on old memories. But at FBG Cash Funeral, they couldn't even do that. They had to get in and out because it was a real safety concern. Y'all know what happened at funerals in chicago a uh, op get caught they find out the location of his funeral and they known to spray it up and fbg already been hit up like that before y'all remember when dooski died he had his funeral public the ops came and shot it up and hit wooski in the head and now wooski can't even speak right he can't even talk right now he can't even form a complete sentence he was once a beloved drill rapper he was on his way to superstardom had y'all seen him in them interviews had y'all seen what happened when they asked wooski a question he just chuckled and mumbled. Don't even try to answer the question. Hey, Wooski, you got new music coming out? <laughs> you thought I got new music coming out? <laughs> uh, you ain't even answer the question? Are you all the way there? So we've seen the effects of what can happen when the ops catch you lacking at a funeral. And that's a very real threat. Now, I want to talk about this as well. Since FBG Cash been hit up, a lot of suspects been thrown out. Many people saying it was a female who set him up. Some said it was a female who hit him up. Some people saying it was Team 600 did it. And now you got other people saying that it's a suspect named DQ from the O who did it. He's a rapper. He's from O Block. And he definitely was the opera at BG Cash. So if you guys don't sit here and tell me who did it, I'm going to listen to it. And then I'm going to ask the question, what evidence do you have? So I searched on YouTube, watched a few videos, and nobody really gave evidence. It seemed like everybody just threw his name out and ended the video. I'm going to tell you who killed FBG Cash. It was DQ from the O. So I'm waiting for the evidence to come, and it never came. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think. I think a lot of people is just hanging their head on the fact that he has dreads and dark skin because that's what the witness described the suspect as. Y'all remember the witness statement? Let's read that. The witness said, watch a dark-skinned guy with dreads stand over that poor guy and let shots off. Man, R.I.P. So it seemed like a lot of bloggers and people were just saying, who's the op of FBG Cash? Who's from the other side? Who's fit that description? Who's dark-skinned and who has dreads? And it seemed like people just throwing his name out there because he fit the description. Y'all remember, at first everybody was saying it was OTFDD. Then we found out he was in Atlanta when it happened. So now everybody like, okay, let's find somebody else. DQ from the O. It's him. They have no evidence. They didn't back it up with any claims. If you provide evidence and you back it up with claims, I'm bound to listen. Y'all know I done threw some stuff out there. I done gave you guys evidence of what I think, but it seems like a lot of bloggers just doing this for clicks and views. Let me see who I can find. Let me see how I can get the next click. I don't care if it's true or not. Let me just throw this out and see does it stick on the wall. And we got to be careful with doing that. Now, I don't think this guy is responsible for the FBG cash shit, but I definitely think the ops are responsible for it. I don't think the females set him up. Who the hell sets a man up and sit in the car while I sprayed up? That doesn't make much sense at all. It was too much of a close call. I just think FBG Cash was moving sloppy. He was posting videos up on internet. He was all over other people's Instagram, letting the ops know he's back in town. Oh, FBG Cash back in Chicago? We got to get him because we don't know when the next time he's going to come back to the city. He's blowing up, just signed the deal. That'll make the ops want to get you because they know if they take you out, your gang starve. Everybody already said FBG is extinct. 
Everybody already said 63rd is now the laughing stock. Who y'all got left? FBG Young, FBG Dutchie. I don't think they're going to make much noise in the music industry. I haven't heard too much music from them. They don't really have the personality. I think they have what it takes to blow. So it looks like this is a win-win for the ops. But anyway, guys, this is your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to share this video. Those are my thoughts on FBG Cash having a secret funeral. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. Leave a comment. I love you guys. Peace.